Good morning, everybody. I am with John Kleiman, a longtime friend. And I know this is tough for you. Sandy Allen, this is tough for you, isn't it? Yes, You really is. loved her. Yes. You really did. What made her so, I'm not a question, what made her so lovable? <laughs> well, when you manage someone or you're friends yeah. with someone and get that close and you lose them, it's just tough. Yeah. Especially, in the, they become part of your family. They're not just a client that you work with. Do you feel in her life that she had a roller coaster and that sometimes she was very happy and content and sometimes she was not? Well, one of the outlets that she had was to do paint by numbers. I remember, yeah. And she normally did paint by numbers when she was very depressed. Mm -hmm. And Sandy did suffer from severe depression quite often. And that was due to not being able to really find her place in the world. Uh, yes, part of it was yeah. that way. And she got bored. Uh, she found lonely. She never had a real boyfriend. Yeah. And as she would say, she never went to a prom because who would want to dance with a, a, yeah. a lady who was uh, three foot taller than you were? You right. Know? Well, how tough, he, and I mentioned this in the first segment, but I, I think it's so important. I know that she went on some tours where she was, and I don't want to compare this to the old, quote, freak shows of circuses, right. sure. but there was an aspect of that that was similar. People would come out to see her. Yes, uh, she did a three-month engagement at the Guinness Book of World Records right. in Taichung, Taiwan, yeah. and it was over the Chinese New Year, and literally, tens of thousands of people went through the museum every day just to touch her hand, which she would put out. So sometimes she was a rock star. That's right. And sometimes she was just teased for who she was. That's true. Yeah. Um, toward the end of her life, um, where was she in mentally and emotional, emotionally and physically? I saw Sandy about four days before she passed. and. She was in good spirits, but she knew that the end was near, and... Um, no one had ever lived that long with this disorder, which was called... It's Giant's Disease, or yeah. acromegaly yeah. is a medical name for it. And uh, she was told she'd never lived to see 30, mm -hmm. and she lived way past that. That's so she cool. was thankful for that, and she was very spiritual. Uh, she was a devout Christian. She believed in God. Uh, and she just was waiting for her turn. Well, I know this is emotional for you, but I got to tell you, John, that the other thing about Sandy is that she loved my dog. Yes, she did. She loved Barney, and we would go visit her. We visit her when she was in Shelbyville in that little room where, right. she, I where she was. So yeah. I have more to talk to you about. Oh, but again, tomorrow on Daybreak, we are going to see the artifacts that John is uh, giving to the Ripley Museums. You, these have never been seen. This is an exclusive story. That's tomorrow, but one more segment with John. Amazing to hear. Yeah. I love the passion behind John's voice as he talks about Sandy. A, an interesting and, and, and unique, but at times a difficult life. Right, you know? yeah, but powerful story there. Absolutely. If you want to read more about the story, we have mm. a special just for Daybreak viewers, of course, as you're hearing more about this, the book Cast a Giant Shadow is all about the life story okay. of Sandy Allen, written by John Kleiman, is a free download on Amazon this weekend only. Very good. You just got to search for that book okay. on Amazon and enjoy that free download. Good day.